You sure this is the right dome? This is it. La Torre. Oh, thank God. Wait, is that... When you said tour bus, Theo, I was picturing something more low-key. You're looking at a refurbished 1986 Cougar Cruiser. <sighs> Isn't she beautiful? I love it. Yu Yu, raise Jack. Yu Yu, Jack up. What's Goodbye. going on? Uh, there's lady legs poking out from under the bus. Please assist. I won't be able to hold this vehicle up much longer. It's far beyond my bulk Stop. Take a deep breath. I'm gonna try and pull you out. Stop, stop. My arm's caught. You'll break it. I can't breathe. You need to do something. She's freaking out. What do we do? Hello? I can't breathe. Gnome, keep her calm. Working on it. Hey, uh, Luna. How are you doing? I can barely breathe. You can breathe. Just listen to my voice. You'll be fine. Okay. Need a hand? Do you need to raise this bus higher? Electrical engineering? Okay, then. Hey, robot. Let's do this. Let's go. My shoulder. Sai. What? Hold the bus up. But. Sai, I need you to do this for me. Okay? Mm, fuck. Yeah. Okay. I'll do it. <laughs> Shit, that's heavy. Careful. I'm still stuck. Can't you get it any higher? Wait. I'm barely able to keep it level. We need that jack, Pax. Try rebooting the UU hub. That piece of crap voice activated box always bugs out. Theo, I think this station runs the autonomous systems. I'll check it out. The network's down. That explains why the jack's not working. Luna, where's the wireless router? No idea. I'll find it. Look for a big box with I know what lights. a router looks like. I think I found it. Hold on. I've I'll got it. On. Did you cause this ruckus? It's your lucky day, Rust Bucket. Did you break the antenna? No wonder the wireless is down. I think we need to adjust this to get a signal again. Uh, I still need help getting out. Hello? You guys still there? I think we have network. Access again. Thank you. I'll give it a try. Got it. Luna, systems rebooted. Voice command should work again. You, you. Lift box. I'm ever trusting the UU voice assistant with anything. Good thing you guys showed up when you did. Welcome to the castle. How was the trip? Um, maybe you should handle this one, Theo. License to operate this vehicle?
I'm transmitting the requested information now, sir. I need to speak with a human, not a machine. Good afternoon, officer. Four humans, one robot. Papers, please. Passports, visas, invitation letter. What's up with the corporate motorcade back there? Are you associated with the Puritans? No. No, sir. I, I think there was a... Uh... Uh, some sort of border inspection. Nothing at all to do with us. Your purpose for entering the Republic? We're a band. A band? M music. Punk? Uh, rock music? We're touring the provinces. Uh, huh. You'll find that it's all been approved One by moment, the... sir. Everybody off the bus. <laughs> What's the problem? Now, including the lady in the bloody shirt. I suggest we treat this as a warm-up gig. At least no one's paying to hear us. Huh? How bad can it be? I regret every choice that led me here. Oh, what do we even play? We haven't practiced! I scribbled down some lyrics for that tune we jammed on last week. What the fuck does that even mean? Whenever you're ready. Just follow my lead, guys. usually warm up before each gig. <laughs> you caught us by surprise. Well, whatever. You may want to pick a different song next time. Folks in the Republic don't much like politics with their entertainment. What's the name of your band? We're the Dustborn. That wasn't exactly good, was it? For a band that hasn't practiced in weeks, I'd say we did okay. We got through it, but we need to do better. But those lyrics, Pax, a bit risque for the Republic, aren't they? Who listens to the lyrics? You sure the Puritans can't get to us, Theo? Very sure. The Republic may not be safe. We're in justice territory, but we've seen the last of the Puritans. Pacifica would never allow them to cross. They'd end up in a shooting war with the Republic. Okay, well, you're the expert. Yes?
Hey, do you want to talk about the detour? No, not now. We can discuss things once we've made camp. By the way, the bloody shirt, that was really sloppy. You need to change out of it. Hello, ma'am. It's almost unreal that it's over. <laughs> so much time spent obsessing about the details and we basically walked in and out of purity. Two stupid mistakes. Busted shoulder and a small cut, but that's it. <laughs> I'd call it luck, but truth is, it's all Theo. Say what you want about the man, kid. He knows what he's doing. He can organize. And... Now, all we have to do is bring the cargo to Nova Scotia, get our payout, and start a whole new life. I expect that's the last we'll ever see of Pacifica, kid. I figured I'd feel relief, but instead the feeling's bittersweet. They call it a nation of opportunities. And I squandered every single one. But to be fair, we never stood a chance. Refugee, normal, high school dropout, we survived the only way we could get. Odd jobs and short cons. Well, at least in Pacifica, we could be invisible. Blend into the background. It's gonna be a lot harder to do in the Republic. Spotted any campsites yet? I'm keeping my eyes open, ma'am. I'll let you know as soon as I find one. Did you want something? Theo really kept his cool during the inspection. That's because he's a skilled secret agent. I'm not a secret agent. That's exactly what a secret agent would say. Cold as ice. He's probably assassinated hundreds of people. I haven't assassinated anyone. Right. Sure. Of course. Secret agent. Theo, did you know Marilyn still walks five miles every day? Why, why would I know that? That was not great. Good enough for those twits. At least we made it into the Republic. Like I said, why, why? You can breathe again. Girl, that was intense. <sighs> we got through it, but fuck me, that was a close call. 
Look, my hands are still shaking. Oh, it's a fucking miracle I didn't turn into a statue out there. <sighs> but you didn't, and we made it. We're in the Republic. The Republic! <laughs> Wait, why are we happy about that? Who's that? Huh? What do you mean, who's that? It's Gnome! I'm kidding. It's good. Keep working at it. Maybe someday you'll be a professional. Ah, oh, hilarious. Maybe someday you will learn to flush the toilet after yourself. I was in a hurry. Why? Why would I know that? You're not a Monroniac. A what? A Marifan, no. I thought you were... What are you reading? The Marilyn Monroe story. Who's that? Who's... Seriously. Seriously. Jesus, Pax. Movie star. JFK's second wife. America's first lady, Madam Justice. I try to avoid justice history. I... I don't even know what to say. She's only one of the most important figures of the 20th century. She dead? Is she? No! And that's not the point. She's actually still alive, 104 and ticking. And she looks fabulous. Cool. Enjoy your book about an old lady who got famous for being married to an old dead dude. I hate you. As I was saying. A marathon, no. I thought you were down with Lady Justice. I literally could not care any less about Marilyn Monroe. Guess it yourself. Hey, Sai, did, did you know, know that... Do not care. Here we go, kid. Our route. So, we're going from Pacifica through Oregon and Nevada, where we have our first booked gig, to New Jerusalem, Utah, and one of the Weave's secret libraries. After that, we play another gig before crossing into the Rockies, to Boulder, Colorado, and our second library, then north, through South Dakota, Minnesota, to Chicago, in a meeting with Theo's contact, and from there, into Canada, and Acadia, to Nova Scotia. Nearly 4,000 miles on roads less traveled to a place we've never heard of in service of a shadowy employer. I'm not sure this was a great idea, kid, but you can't argue with a paycheck or the chance for a new start far away from this wretched place. Can I help you? According to the signs, there's a campsite coming up. Is there a coffee shop? It's a campsite, Gnome. Not the Embarcadero. As soon as we've parked, I'll start preparing dinner. I'll take care of the fire. And I'll... uh... watch? Hey, that's my job.
What are they doing? Torching the crops. They're here for the opium. Did you... You've been selling drugs. Did you really think justice wouldn't notice? I... Shit. Shit! What do we do? We get the hell out of here. I need to find Mom. And I need to get... I guess running is out of the question. What the hell is that? Citizens surrender peacefully. It's trouble, is what that is. You need a weapon. You have been charged with the following crimes. Illegal occupation of justice property. Illegal You're in luck. I've been tinkering with something. Put this on. Illegal distribution. A glove? Not just a glove. See that bat over there? Grab it. F from here. From... Okay. To divulge any and all information pertaining to your charge. That's amazing. How? Electromagnetic fields. With that glove on, you can control the bat. Throw it. And it comes back. Sis, you're a genius. And I know just how to take this for a spin. An attorney may be assigned to you by justice during your trial. Your sentencing will be more lenient if you plead guilty now and divulge any and all information pertaining to your charges. I'm in love with this thing. Oh, okay, don't get too attached. I want it back when all this is over. What are they doing? What do you think they're doing? Shit. I'm warning you guys, stay the hell away from me. I hate robots. Seriously. Hate. Robots. Do you understand what... Oh, as I was saying. Do you... Un Hello, loser. Yes. And yes. So why didn't you respond? I didn't ask a question. Okay. Here's a question for you. Do you feel pain? No. Pain. What are you doing? Banter. To help me hit harder. Oh, is that how it works? <sighs> That's how it works. Well, your mojo doesn't work on machines. No. Psych. Uh, sorry. I'm, uh, no. But it works just fine on me. Hey, Warbot. What time is it? The current time is... No. No. It's pain o'clock for you, buddy. That is not a time. It's my time. I'm very confused right now. Mind over matter, bitches. None of this makes any sense to me. You're running out of war. You suck. So you're running out of war bots. Time to throw in the towel. We don't typically carry towels. And we prefer combots. <laughs> combots? Really? It is the preferred no it is the preferred nomenclature. In your face. You know what? Don't really care. Does that offend you? It does not. But I could pretend. Is that it? We're not done. Yo! Leave my friends alone. You're just in time. Let's show these guys what we can do. We've been in some scraps, Sai and me. We've learned to combine our talents. See, we shout at these folks to block them. You know what? It's easier to explain if we just do it. Stand down. You stand down. Stand still. Ah, <laughs> Afternoon, boys. Seriously? Coming uh, at you. So... Afternoon, boys. You ready for this? Uh, I think so. I mean, we're not boys. We're professionals. We're always ready. Big words from a small boy. Stop calling us boys. Very something. Justice HQ didn't send their best people, did they? Uh, is that a question? No. Yeah, well, I resent the implications. How's it going, guys? Try again. In your face. Like I said. How's it going, guys? Starting to regret your life decisions yet? Why do you keep talking? It, it... Shape up. 
Why do you keep talking? It, it's just deeply weird. I like to get to know my victims. Victims? What, what do you mean? Victims? I mean, come on. Look at how this is playing out. How else would I describe you? Uh, enemy combatants, opponents, the good guys, victims is just... You lost to a girl with a bat. Seriously? And you call yourself soldiers? Fine. I'll do this myself. Remember how we turned the gals against Fred using Discord? We can do the same thing in combat and trick our enemies into turning on each other. You're in violation of the public laws and justice regulations. Surrender now. We're giving you to the count of five. You're trust no one. You're not playing fair with that armor, buddy. Carrying a baseball bat, not a bazooka. Should have thought this through before assaulting justice personnel. You know that's not what happened. We're gaslighting. You attacked first. We're here to force the Just following orders. Am I right, big guy? Put down your weapon. Uh, and then you shoot me. How this works. It never ends well for those on the opposite. Hey Goliath, did you hear the one about David and the slingshot? So the answer is probably no. In this scenario, I'm David and oh, Sniper! Shit! My bat can't fly that far. Yet. I throw something, but I can't aim for shit. Bro Wait, 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 I have an idea. Follow me. Pax, batter's box, now. Remember our evening practice games? For now, we really need to leave. Wait, what's that sound? Oh, for fuck's sake! Vox don't work on machines. But we have a trick up our sleeve, kid. Let's trigger ourselves. Thoughts on what we're up against? It's either a justice robot or one of the- Your failure! It's either a justice robot or one of those plastic keychains that got magic with a growth spell and possessed by some sort of demon. Interesting theory. We'll see what the autopsy reveals. <laughs> well, we're, we're not doing enough- Really? Bitch attack! Well, we're, we're not doing an autopsy on that thing. What do you call it when you open up a robot to see what's inside? Uh, oil change? That's it. Ideas? Okay, is this, you know... Yes, both. Didn't see that coming at you. Okay. Yes, both. I don't know. I don't even know what we're fighting here. Sure, that, but how and why? 
Are we sure this is not clean? If it is, it's the worst food ever. Hello, loser. I'm with you on parts of that stadium, so I guess we just, you know, fight it? I do not know how this day would turn out. Part of Jess would be fighting a cartoon character in the scrapyard together with her strange sister. And we're only getting started. Ugh, probably like that. Reversal! Coming at you! No! I don't want my life back. Working for pennies in a soulless hypocrisy where you have no right to life. Yep. I don't know. I think I prefer this. Hey, Zig! What? Oh, this bat is the best. Can I please keep it? Uh, no, but you can borrow it until it's finished. It's not finished? No, by a long shot. I need more parts, electromagnets, battery cells, sensors. Wait. What are you doing? I thought I'd scavenged all the robots, but obviously not. Well, I've made it easy to upgrade the bat with off-the-shelf parts. Anyone can do it. Even you. Okay, keep an eye out for robot scraps. But once that thing is fully upgraded, I'm taking it back. It's not a gift, okay? Robot scraps, you got it. Now you decide to show up? I figured I'd only get in the way. He was ready to jump into the fray. I told him to stay back and prepare for departure. I think we did just fine without him. This is not over. They'll be sending reinforcements. So we get out. Now. Right, Pax? Grab the robot and go to the bus. Z, let's find Annie. So Pax is telling the truth? She didn't run away? You... you sent her away? Why did you lie to me? We were trying to protect you. We had to make sure no one else knew. If outsiders learned that Pax was special... They did what they thought was right. Sending you away and lying to me was right? It was an act of love. We did it to protect you. All of us. Okay, and if you didn't want to leave, why, why didn't you try to come back? Or at least contact me? I honestly don't care why you left. I do care that you never tried to come back. You never wrote. You never called. I know I screwed up. But you don't know what it was like. Because you didn't tell me. How could I know? You just let 16 years pass without trying to reach out to help me understand? So what happened? Why did you send Pax away? Maybe Pax wants to... We were in Deer Falls. Market day. How old was I? Fifteen? Sixteen. You just turned fourteen, Z. I remember that day. We, uh, found some baseball gear. You know, I helped you- I helped open the door from inside. We grabbed the gear and ran. That's the same bat you just used to fight justice. I also remember you being weird about it. A few months after that, you left. Some kids saw you in the dugout. They were gonna come after you, so... I voxed them. You... what? I pushed them. They ran off scared, told others. Rumors started going around. They were going to come after her. Neither of you were safe. 
So we sent Pax south, told everyone she ran away. Told you the same story, Z. Jesus. Why did you not tell me? Either of you? I don't know, Z. We need to put the past to rest. Please forgive us. And don't blame Pax for our mistakes. Forgive? I mean... I just learned I've been living a lie half my life. So forgiving is one thing. I don't see how... How any of us can, what, just move on and be fine with this? We can move forward without excusing or forgiving what happened. I know Annie feels like she failed us all. I can't just forgive what happened, but we all do what we believe is right. We can never return. Don't say that. I'm sorry, my love. I hope someday I can visit you again. I... Oh, God. I'm so, so sorry, Rosa. Rosa isn't here, Mom. She's in your heart. She's with us wherever we go. I'm sorry, but that's... Seriously? In your heart? That's the most cornball thing I've ever heard you say, Pax. I didn't think you had it in you. Wherever we go... Really? Really? That's what... <laughs> but you're right. Rosa will always be with us. She's not bound to this place. And neither are you, see? You need to go with Pax. Wait, what? No! No way. What I do you rather... think will happen? If you stay with me, sooner or later justice will come. But I'm an old lady. They'll never believe I had anything to do with it. But if you're with me, what do you think will happen? So now you're sending me away? Just, Just like... like we did with Pax. For everyone's sake and with the very best of intentions. This was a good home. But it's just a place. And it means nothing without the people. Annie, sorry, but we need to leave. Justice will be here soon. <sighs> Come on, girls. Let's go. I hate to rush things, but there's a good chance more of them are on the way. We're ready. And, uh, okay, okay, good. We should be able to fit everyone, if you don't mind the cramped oh, seating. Oh, honey, and, uh, we're not coming with you. We wouldn't get past the first checkpoint. We'll be fine. At least, I hope we will. I don't know if we can ever be a family again. Maybe I'll get back into the resistance game. Seek out my old wildflower compatriots. See what Adriana's up to. I've still got some fight left in this old body. Might as well use it to do some good. This one, on the other hand, she's coming with you. She's small and fits anywhere. Okay, don't stick around for long. When those They'll guys be wake furious. up. furious! We need to get the fuck out of here! Sorry to interrupt the goodbyes, but I'm not staying here a second longer than necessary. Promise me, you'll look after each other. I know you both want to move on, but I... I don't want this, okay? I'm not giving you a choice. Godspeed, girls. Keep your eyes on the road and never look back. I love you. Love you, Z. And you, Pax. Take care of yourself, Mom. 